What is up guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So guys, as you can tell from the thumbnail, I am finally back with a book box battle video. It has legit been way too long since I have been able to do one of these. As you guys know, a lot of subscription boxes have had delays with items and everything just because of the virus. So Owlcrate and Fairy Loot were a little late, more so Fairy Loot. I think they were like two months almost behind waiting on items to come, but they are both finally here. So for this video, I'm going to battling owl crate versus fairy loot these are actually the april boxes so i know these are very behind seeing as how it's june um owl crate actually got here like last month and it's just been sitting here staring at me and torturing me but i was determined to wait for fairy loot so i could do a book box battle but for those who don't know these are two of my book box subscriptions they are monthly and this is the video i do every month or when i can to battle them out to see which box in my opinion did better this month or whatever month they came out. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and battle these boxes. If you are interested, keep watching and let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start with Owl Crate first. Sneak peek. And right on top, as always, is the spoiler card. The theme for April was Full Moon Magic. So first is the enamel pin. Let me take it out. So it looks like we have an enamel pin with a owl on it and phases of the moon. I love the design of this enamel pin. That is very pretty. For those who don't know, the enamel pin is based off the book in the box and we get one every month. So I love that I get to add this to my collection. And next we have a little brown bag that says a dreamer is one who can only find his way by moonlight. Ooh, intriguing. Let's see what we got. Oh, so it's something we can hang on our wall like a banner or something. And it's the moon phases. I have to say that's very original. I've never, I don't think we've ever really gotten something like this before. But to be honest, it's not my favorite design. I do kind of wish they would have maybe painted it. So I will probably not end up displaying it on my wall. It might end up in my giveaway box, but it is something different and I always appreciate that. So, okay. Next we have a jewelry box. Let's see what we get. It is a bracelet with the crescent moon. And I love that it's kind of that rose gold color. And this is what it looks like on, very cute. I love this, definitely one of my favorite jewelry items that we've gotten from Owlcrate in a long time. Next, it looks like we have a tote bag. Okay, so it's just black, again, with like the phases of the moon. And it says the moon is a loyal companion. To be honest, it's not my favorite design. It is a good size tote bag, but yeah, not my favorite. It'll probably end up in my giveaway box. Next, it looks like we have a notebook and it says the freedom, books, flower, and the moon. Who could not be happy? Oscar Wilde. It is just a regular notebook that flips over and it has lined pages and owl crate on the back. So yeah, very cool. I love when we get notebooks. I will definitely use this. And next, it looks like we have a puzzle. I totally forgot this was the box that was including the puzzle. Owl crate exclusive 300 piece Mooney puzzle. Oh, so this is Lupin. Very cool. I always love when we get Harry Potter stuff in the book box subscriptions. I do have to say, I have gotten quite a few puzzles recently, not from Owlcrate, but I think I have like four or five that are just sitting there because I have not had time to actually do them. Um, and if I even start to, my toddlers will just automatically mess it up um so yeah this will probably go in my pile of puzzles maybe one day i will eventually get to do these so yeah <laughs> and we are finally to the book let me take it out of the plastic oh i see sprayed edges and as always we have an exclusive cover from owl crate that is so freaking pretty i'm loving the gold y'all the sprayed edges are everything oh my gosh and it should be signed by the author yes it is let's see what it looks like without the cover so just a grayish light blue with gold on the spine okay i'm gonna read the description real fast bone criers have a sacred duty they alone can keep the dead from preying on the living, but their power to ferry the spirits of the dead into goddess alara's night heavens 
or Tyrus's underworld comes from sacrifice. The gods demand a promise of dedication at the cost of the bone crier's one true love. Aless, Aless has been preparing since birth to become the matriarch of the bone criers, but first she must complete her rite of passage and kill the boy she's destined to love. Bastian's father was slain by a bone crier and he's been seeking revenge ever since, but his vengeance comes too late. Aless's ritual has begun and now their fates are intertwined in life and in death. Sabine has never had the stomach for bone crier for the bone crier's work, but when her best friend Elise is taken captive, Sabine will do whatever it takes to break the bond between Elise and Bastien before they all die. The first pulse-pounding novel in a new duology from the New York Times best-selling author of Burning Glass shines with doomed romance, Macrobe, 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 magic and a betrayal with the power to shatter the boundary between the living and the dead. Hi, Kit Kat. Okay, that sounds amazing. Little magic, mystery, romance. Definitely a book right up my alley. But guys, that was everything in the box. Let's take a quick look at the pamphlet this month, or April. As always, we have the interview with the author, and then we have the Alcrate exclusive cover versus the regular. Oh yeah, definitely preferring Alcrate's cover. Then we have the interview with the artist, which was Unlucky Designs. She's the one who did the tote bag. And then we have our monthly Spotify list, and it's Mischief and Moonlight, a bookish playlist inspired by Remus Lupin. I'm definitely gonna have to check that out. Okay, but that was everything on that. So the theme for the May box, which I actually have already, is Rebels with a Cause, flip for sneak peek. Every May box will include a graphic novel from Oni Press, two books in one box. Yes, I love when we get two books. But guys, that was everything from Alcrate. As always, you'll have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Definitely for me, the book was the star of this box. Item-wise, this actually wasn't my favorite box from Alcrate, just based on the items. But I have to say the bracelet is definitely my favorite item. The tote bag and the little moon phase banner thing just really aren't my favorite. But yeah, that was everything from Alcrate. Let's see how it holds up against fairy loot. Let's do a sneaky to peek and sneak peek spoiler card right on top the theme for april was memories huh okay i have to say the artwork of this spoiler card is gorgeous wow and right on top we have another tote bag now i love this this is a throne of glass inspired tote bag the court of terracin oh my god look how big this tote bag is Y'all, the design of this is gorgeous. But on the back, we actually have a different design with a quote that says, so they can look up at the sky no matter where they are and know Terrison is forever with them. Sarah J. Moss. Oh my God, that is just gorgeous. Great way to start the box. Next, we have a little brown package with the Fairy Loot logo. It is an enamel pin. And it's a Harry Potter pen. It is a memory vial designed by That's Lovely Deer Shop. Perfect enamel pen for a memory box. I am loving the design of this with the gold. Oh, I love it. Love it. Y'all, so far we're only two items in and I'm loving this box. Next, it looks like we have some um, washi tape. Is that what it's called? Yes, washi tape. That is so pretty. I don't think you can see the sparkle of this tape, but it has a eye, a quill, and then some paint brushes. Oh my God. I actually don't journal or do um, book planner type of things. So I honestly have no idea when I will actually use this. Next, we have some sticky tabs. We have a bunch of different emoji sticky tabs, including a poop one, because why not? That is just funny and cute. I know a lot of people tab their books, so I'm sure this will be a very popular item. Next, we have a box. It is the Secret Book Volume 3. Oh, that is so pretty. I think this might be my favorite one out of all the ones we gotten. Loving, loving the purple. 
volume three. And as always, we have some popular book quotes. So we have a Game of Thrones quote, Lord of the Rings, Unravel Me, Hunger Games, Ooh, God's Grave, and then A Court of Wings and Ruin. Oh my gosh. I really hope they plan to do more because I love this. Next, we have our monthly tarot cards. We have the Five of Cups and Six of Cups. As always, I have no idea what these are based off of. For some reason, this is giving me um, Throne of Glass vibes. Yes, designed by Gabrielle Boudojo and inspired by Throne of Glass series. Ha <laughs> ha, white hair, black nails, gave it away. And guys, we are finally to the book. Oh, this is a box that never ends. Just kidding, we actually have a pin banner. That is just gorgeous. I am loving the silver. Oh, such a cool design. I love when we get pen banners because I'm addicted to enamel pens, so I know I will eventually use this. Okay, and yes, we are finally to the book. Let me take it out of the pouch. <gasps> we have sprayed edges. We also have the bookmark that has the same design as the spoiler card. Very pretty. And we have a letter from the author with an art print on the back. Very cool. So the book this month is Incendiary by, um, I'm not even gonna try to say that, so that's the author. Oh, I am loving, loving, loving this cover. But again, guys, the real star is <sighs> these sprayed edges, the same color as the cover oh, that it's just gorgeous. Y'all are spoiling me with these frayed edges. <sighs> gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And it should be signed by the author. And yes, it is signed by the author. Let's see what it looks like without. So just a blue cover with kind of rose gold on the side. And fairy loot really does spoil us because we also have reversible dust jacket art. So very pretty. Okay, I'm gonna read the description real fast. Renata was only a child when she was kidnapped by the crown. As a memory thief, the rarest and most feared of the magical Moria, Moriah? Um, she was used to carry out the king's wrath, a siege that resulted in the deaths of thousands of her own people. Now, Renata is one of the Whisperers, a rebel spy working against the crown. When Des, her commander, and the boy she's grown to love is taken captive by the notorious Principal Dorado, Renata, Renata must return to the palace and complete his top secret mission herself. Can she keep her cover even as she burns for vengeance against the brutal prince? Her life and the fate of the Moria, Moria, depend on it. But returning to the palace stirs memories long locked away. As Renata grows more de deeply embedded in the royal court, she uncovers a secret that could change the fate of the entire kingdom and end the war that has cost her everything. Oh my gosh. Oh, the books this month for April oh, sound amazing. I cannot wait to read this. But guys, that was everything in the box. Let's take a quick look at Fairy Scoop. As always, we have an interview with the author. Then it shows us the exclusive Fairy Loot cover versus the regular cover. Both are gorgeous, but yeah, I'm definitely loving Fairy Loot over the regular one. And then next month's theme, or May, is Desert Dreams. This month, we're getting swept away in lands filled with fairy tales, magic, and gin. You can expect items inspired by We Hunt the Flame, The City of Brass, and Ember in the Ashes, Rebel of the Sands, The Forbidden Wish, and more. Also, this box will include an exclusive candle by the one and only Wiccan Fable. And I actually did get an email saying that my May Fairy Loot has shipped, so hopefully it'll get here very soon. Because like I said, I already have May's Owl Crate box. But yeah, that was everything from Fairy Loot. As always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. This box was amazing. Favorite items? Definitely the book is the star of the show, but I really, really loved our new book box and the tote bag is just gorgeous. But of course, I also really loved the memory vial enamel pen. Pretty much anything Harry Potter based. It's such a great box from Fairy Loot. 
So that kind of leads me into which box I think won for the month of April. And again, if it is not a thousand percent obvious, drum roll please. Fairy Loot is the winner for April. Both books in these boxes sound amazing, but Fairy Loot, as always, jam-packed their box and was just amazing. Such a great box from Fairy Loot. But as always, you guys will have to let me know, do you agree with my decision or do you think Owlcrate should have won? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. <laughs> guys, as you can tell, so guys, as you can tell from my country accent is coming out for some reason. I'm very sorry. Um, so guys, as you can tell. <laughs> they snoring so loud. It does not want to come out. There we go. Oh, so it's like a... You gonna come start messing stuff up, Kit Kat? Huh? You spoiled little cat. <laughs> Standoff between husband and cat. Who will win? Kit Kat, stop knocking the tripod. Well, y'all can thank my husband for knocking the camera over. And yes, I am wearing Minion's pants. And uh, what are they called? <sighs> Don't touch it. Don't touch it. You're about to break it, Calvin. I'm trying. Look, uh, do you get your leg over. It's not a freaking what do you mountain. Think, what do you think I'm trying to well, do? Well, don't touch my tripod. So, do you want me to touch your tripod or do you want me to knock your light over? What do you want? I want you to just move your foot. I want you to just... Different emojis. -y. So...